So welcome back to this um, rapid video. Today we're just gonna do a quick um, rapid game, 10 minutes flat actually, with no increment. So there might be a bit less talking in this video, but we'll see. Uh, we've gone with this sort of E6 line, which we were doing some opening videos on. Okay, our opponent has gone move c3, we can go d5 here, we can also go uh, knight to f6. Okay, I'm going to go with the move pawn to uh, d5 in this particular game. Let's go pawn takes instead of queen takes, but queen takes is perfectly fine as well. So we go for knight to c6. These positions are typically... Uh, like fairly comfortable for white just because of like these isolated pawns but yeah we, we can try to make the position dynamic with the black pieces um, let's see what we can do so here I mean the idea would probably be to play bishop to e7 we can also walk into this pin let's go for knight f6 Sometimes you can play this knight f6 move. So is he just going to take our pawn? Take, take, and take the pawn? Yeah. I do feel like we have some compensation though in this position. I think so. So if we check, uh, bishop to e2. And then can we just castle in that position? Oh no. So we do have the bishops. He's going to castle next move though. So we need to find our compensation pretty quickly. So queen e7, bishop to e2. Maybe we go bishop to e6 in that position. Threatening to bring the bishop out. But then he goes queen e4. It's, it's not easy. It's not easy. What if we move the bishop back, then the bishop goes to e2, castles, he's just going to castle. Yeah. Okay, I, I think we should throw in the check, but yeah, he's just going to go bishop to e2. So we need to find a good move against this. Maybe we we'll go bishop to g4. Then he goes queen to um, g5. So bishop to e6, he just moves queen to e4, this is the problem. Maybe we just castle and if he takes, we take here and then we take on b2. This is probably the best option, I think. So we still have compensation as long as the king is stuck in the center. So here, yeah, I think we should go for go for this. At least we win our pawn back in this variation as well. So we can take here. So now we can give our king a little bit of luft, I suppose. If rook to b1, we just go queen c2. I don't think our queen is trapped at all. We have a few problems we need to solve, like how are we going to get our bishop out? I mean, he's always going to go rook to b1 and take this pawn, so we do have some problems there. Uh, I would like to play b6 as well, this is a move I want to get in, but I'm not too sure how we're going to get in b6. So he has blocked the file, 
which gives us an opportunity to move our bishop out to g4 with tempo perhaps so this could be a good move but what's he trying to do is he trying to get a pass deep on I can get bishop to d7, b6, or bishop to g4. I feel like bishop to g4 is probably better, but I'm a bit worried that our queen might get trapped as well. That's the only thing we need to watch out for. Because at some point when he plays knight to d4, yeah, now rook b1 is a very serious threat. So I don't have time to play rook, rook here. So can I take it? I give him the pass D pawn, but perhaps I can blockade it. The fact that my queen is probably getting trapped means that I might need to do this. Okay, so I'm going to go bishop to f5 just to stop any rook to b1. There's queen to d5 pinning and winning this, but then I can just take the pawn on c3. So that should be fine. I mean, it, it looks fairly equal to me. If I can get in b6, maybe I can be slightly, slightly better, perhaps. He might go f4 actually. No, but then I have rook e8, bishop to e4. Yeah, so I, I need to get my bishop to. If I can get my bishop to e4, then I should be fairly happy. Yeah, this one, I, th I think I can play rook to e2, right? Yeah, this looks very, very strong. Because if queen takes pawn now, bishop to e4 should be winning. So now we can just take on g2 next move. Yeah, I, I don't think his last move was a mouse slip or anything like that, so... Uh, probably just give a take back if it was like a mouse slip, but I don't think that was a mouse slip. I think he, he just missed bishop e4. Yeah, so... I think we just have forced mate. I'll just give up the rook. It's probably the easiest one. And then queen g2 mate. Okay, so let's just have a quick look at that opening. So let's turn on the engine. Yeah, so I've never actually seen this bishop g5 move before. Normally people play bishop to b5 in this position. 
and the line that I was intending to play was uh, bishop to d6, pawn takes, pawn takes, castles, and then you can play knight g7, knight e7 here, but I was going to play knight f6, uh, following uh, I think some idea Magnus Carlsen played once. Uh, after like bishop g5, I was going to play like bishop to e6 and castle, and play with the knight f6, allowing the pin. Sometimes you can even go h6, g5, knight e4. And it's it's quite aggressive, but ninety seven is also playable. Um, it's the main line, I believe, um, in this position. But after bishop to g five, um, yeah, queen b six was a move I was also briefly considering. But yeah, I wasn't sure what to do after queen b six. I also feel like this bishop on g five can be quite annoying um, in a lot of positions. So. I felt the need to develop my king side first, so yeah, I walked into this pin, but I, I thought it was okay because we were sort of transposing back. Um, so apparently taking is a inaccuracy, so we do get a lot of compensation in fact for this sacrifice pawn. So I wasn't exactly sure, but I could feel like probably with the two bishops and the extra development that we might have something there. So after queen e7 check here, yeah, so apparently bishop e6 is more accurate. But let's see, after castles, castles is okay as well, it's saying. It's probably just equalized. But what happens after bishop e6, queen e4? So f5, queen h4. It just wants to take, take, and say that, yeah, basically, black is a little bit better because of uh, the two bishops essentially and the uh, very active piece play probably it's just going to castle queen side or something like that and say that yeah black has very active pieces so yeah you should always be aware that sometimes even though you're a pawn down um, you have enough compensation in other means for example like here extra development of the two bishops will give you enough compensation so after castles castles so apparently rook d8 here, probably missed rook d8, so what's the idea? Queen here, queen takes, um, queen takes, bishop to g4, ah, uh, this is very very strong, yeah, this is very very strong, because now if knight d2, we have the move rook takes d2, and the knight has no good square, so if knight here, we take, take, and then I think queen takes b2 now is very strong yeah because knight c3 is met by uh, rook c8 or b6 in a lot of positions so white's pawns are hanging here yeah so, so definitely that was better and probably uh, I think we could have uh, perhaps found that with a bit more time but we opted for queen takes here it also seems okay uh, rook d8 Bishop g4, knight takes d4, queen takes d4, bishop, bishop f5 is okay, queen e5 is a mistake, probably because of what happened, right? Um, yeah, so that's a blunder, because, yeah, okay, so so now, so now winning, um, but white also had a chance to give up the pawn, because the queen is defending h2, but yeah, probably it's not enough here. Black will just bring the other rook into the game later on, um, and it's fine. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this quick rapid game. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next game.